So the question here says that the probability that an event will happen is given. So the probability that it will happen is given. We want to figure out the odds against each event happening. Okay. So 35% here, now this probably should be said, it's written as a, a chance here. This is 35 out of 100, okay? Uh, and so 35 out of 100 here, if we, if we simplify that, okay, we are going to get 7 out of 20. Now, th remember how this works here. We want the, pro uh, the odds against it happening here. Now, these are the probabilities for it happening, so that means there are 7 successful events out of a total of 20. But the success goes at the back side of, of our ratio here when we're setting up odds. And if 7 of them were successful out of 20, that means 13 uh, it indicated failure. So 13 failure results to f uh, 7 success results. Here at 50%, write that as a fraction, it's 50 out of 100. This one's a, a little easier to work through because this is just going to be 1 out of 2. And so what we see here is that we've got uh, one f a success event out of two here, but what that means is that there was one failure event. So the odds are one to one uh, against the event happening. Okay, so they're even, the odds are even here. Here, the probability of success is 10%. Okay, that's 10 out of 100, okay, or one out of 10. Now, what that means is that there's one outcome out of 10 that indicates success, but that means that there were nine that indicate failure. So the odds are nine to one against an event happening. Okay. Now this next one here, uh, 85, 85%. Okay. This is the same as 85 out of 100. Okay. Oh, hopefully you can see that there. And that becomes 17 out of 20. And what that means is we've got 17 events that can be considered successful out of a total of 20 events, but that leaves three failure events there. So the odds against the event happening are 3 to 17.